one definition of philanthropy is a love for the betterment of humanity through selfless giving. What better place to learn about the spiritual betterment of humanity than Tibet? Its capital, Lhasa, is considered by many to be the spiritual heartbeat of the world. The Patala Palace was found in the 7th century. We used to call Patala Palace, Palace of Compassion. So some of the pilgrims, they came by walk. Some of the pilgrims, they came by prostration all the way from Qinghai to Lhasa. It takes about two and a half years to get back their home. Because that's why that we have to do hard. You have to have pure mind, a solid heart. And then you will get a more result. To get a good karma for next life. Also that we are going to pray for all of human beings. So they're coming by foot, walking. Yeah, all the way from their homeland. They came from Qinghai province, which is about 1,200 kilometers. He is 83 years old. <laughs> this is his first time to visit the Putala Palace. This is monk debating. This is where they practice all their philosophy. Tibetan monks come to debate. This is where they practice scripture. One monk sits, the other monk stands. One monk gives an edict of philosophy, the monk sitting down responds. Can you share with me what compassion means to you? Nee,大事嘛，我来说，古嘛，我来说，叔叔给，乡邻居不不能应应，你应应什么叫什么叫，咱们不做，那都，今年你叔叔什么都对，应应几乎都拿不出，让个什么，叔叔几个，搞不起
Tu disungu juzi jiro, sunsu juk. Aku sudah tanda di tola, lodging ni, dawai ni jonyo yang marwa. Jonyo metu ina, hot tak kalau lamsa sih na, samiul lebar sih gol, mek tuh lagu sih ina saya tadi suyam marwa. Jauh jauh semuk tuh ni sih gol wa, tapi nak kau dorju sih ina yang tegar wa. Sanje kombo sang saya tadi je saya sini gol wa, sang saya tadi mebe tuh. Tapi mebe cah wata, ane dek tapi mebe cah wata, ane siji nama malu pa. चीमी के ये सी जेबा ना संजय वो तेरे चार के से संजय कंबो तब से तो चिता चिना चु यापोस लोग जो जे संजय कंबो डोलो डोटा लामगा अल कासे कासे यो में चासं चीनी से ना कोबा कोबा यापो चाय यो रे थैंक यू क्या टाइसी दिली थैंक यू I'm in line in here, about to pay homage to the oldest Buddha in the world. And the monk in front of me, his cell phone goes off. His cell phone goes off. And he picks it up. And as he's praying to the oldest Buddha in the world, he's having a conversation. And I just thought that was surreal. He's in the full garb. And I want to tap the monk and say, hey, can you be quiet for a moment? And he's just rapping on the phone. And I just think it's so bizarre. Everywhere I go, I see monks and the Sai tribe text messaging. And it's going to be really interesting because there's so many incredible things with technology, yet there's balance to it. There's a lot of things that are going to take away from culture, too. Hey, I'm in Tibet right now in an internet cafe, about to check a few emails. I think I'm going to come into a little place and be all by myself. Look around you. I got half of Tibet right now talking to people all over the world about all type of topics. It's crazy. I can't even get on a machine. Hi there. Yeah, he wants to talk to you. Is he talking English? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hey. Buddy. <laughs> Where are you? I mean, you, you must be pretty right far there. away. You guys met long distance on the internet. Wow. Do you think that the internet is changing China? People from all over the planet can talk to each other and learn about each other and share ideas and information. And question a lot of authority. 